Well, <clears throat> I got her to roll over. I had I, I already posted a video on YouTube and stuff. But apparently my battery just ain't got enough oomph this morning. As you can see, she's charging. She was way up there past nine. But she did have enough to spin her over. And we're going to give her another shot. Hopefully I can get her to pop off. I just want to get it running. I'm going to have to retorque those bolts down that are in there. Inside here. One, two, three, four, five. That's inside the head. And the rest are on the outside as you can see. But I'm just doing everything the way the book said. Retorque them after the engine runs. And she does seem to have a little bit more, but it could be just the weak battery. <clears throat> but she is spinning. And hopefully we will have her going. Uh, until I get the hood and stuff back on, I gotta chain off the exhaust because when it's not sitting properly, it's right up there against the... Uh, fan blade but I'm going to have to get some extra nuts and bolts and somewhere along the line I've lost bolts like you see all these little ones right here these these hold the mount for the gas tank right there right there I have them on the opposite side too and I just need my tractor. That's all there is to it. I put the oil in. She seems to be good. I got to get it spinning over fast enough so I can read the oil pressure on the gauge, which is right there. Yeah, right there. That's the pressure gauge. And eventually, I'll hook up a gas gauge, but it looks like I'm going to have to get a new nose at some point which is going to be hard to do she's all rotted out she's coming apart and I could fix it, it it's just going to be a pain in the ass and I guess I'm going to have to do that because finding a nose for this thing is going to be like you know and my headlight baskets are pretty well rotted too, as you can see. But I got the headlights working last time. But I will have to get those changed out. It's just a slow, slow process.